Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. So over on my Instagram, I asked you guys what kind of 50 crochet ideas you guys wanted to see for the month of July, and an overwhelming amount of you said coastal granddaughter core, <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw it, I didn't know what you guys were talking about, so I had to do some digging, I had to do some research, and I discovered coastal granddaughter core, and oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I literally love it. I can't believe I didn't know, I knew of it, but I didn't know that's what that was called. So now that I understand what Coastal Granddaughter Court is, I was able to easily find 50 free crochet patterns for you for this one. So this video is gonna be 50 Coastal Granddaughter Crochet Ideas. Now, this was definitely probably one of my more niche core <laughs> videos, but I had a lot of you request it, so I'm hoping that you guys like this one, but I knew the moment I looked up the aesthetic, I knew I was going to be able to easily find 50 patterns for you. So, before we jump into what categories we have for this video, if any of these patterns are yours and you don't want them promoted in this video, DM me over on Instagram and I'll take them out, or if they're linked to the wrong spot, the wrong shop, listing, etc., DM me over there and I can easily fix the problem. Now that we got that out of the way, the categories we have for this video are decor, tops, bags, and accessories. So just four categories, easy peasy. But a really cool thing about this video is all of the patterns are free, okay? They're either free written patterns or free video tutorials, but they're all free. I know that a lot of the feedback on my other ones has been that you kind of want an all free video and I was able to do that for the last like I want to say three videos have been all free. I haven't had to supplement with any paid anything so that's really exciting. So that is really awesome. You're not gonna have to pay any money to make any of the patterns that I'm about to show you. As always everything I'm talking about in this video is linked in the description box below in the order that I say it linked to a free written video or written pattern or video tutorial. Okay so let's jump into our first category, which is decor. Decor will forever and always be my favorite category in every video. So for the decor category, we have this really cool um, star kind of shaped dishcloth. Okay, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, it's a dishcloth set. So it's the one that you're seeing and the one behind it. You can also make this really fun door storage for your flip-flops, for your summer stuff, for your swimsuits, okay? Really cute. You can also make this blanket to drape over chairs and couches. You can make these sand dollar coasters, okay? Super cute, super realistic, realistic, realer, re more realistic than most sand dollar coasters out there. This one's kind of cute. Now, if that's not your jam and you're more of a beginner in crochet and you want a very st simple coaster but still starfish effect, you can make these coasters with the little starfish seashell embellishments on them. Super cute. You can also make these, I want to say they're starfish, um, dishcloths, but you can make them and use them as coasters, use them as wall decor, you put two together and stuff it and use it as a pillow, so you can really use them for anything. You can also make this really fun, this really fun blue and white like swirled blanket. You can kind of see the, the color scheme theme of Coastal Granddaughter, which love it okay it's kind of giving a little bit of the summer i turned pretty but mostly just like the way the house is decorated it's like it's like beachside decor like your grandma who lives by the beach like i don't know how to explain it but i love it you can make this wave pillow or even these nautical washcloths super cute or this anchor pillow to go with that wave pillow I just showed you. You can make a 100% cotton basket to hold your skincare, hold dry swimsuits, hold, you know, things like that. You can even make this chunky yarn pillow to go with the other pillows I showed you, or spend some more time and make these puffy flowers to make a puffy flower pillow, which I know, unrelated to this aesthetic, this pillow style has blown up since TikTok. So if you've been looking for a free pattern for that one, I got you. It's free. You can also make these slouchy baskets to hold things 
or even this kitchen set washcloth dishcloth hot pad set you can make this blanket i really like the stitching on this one or even this starfish pillow i really like this one and it's super detailed this one's definitely going to be for more of my advanced crocheters i wouldn't recommend it for an absolute beginner but if you have a lot of projects under your belt this one's a good one for you you can also make baskets with handles i know i've been giving you a lot of basket options but these ones are with handles you can make them bigger to hold towels or beach toys and things like that that's completely up to you on the size and that is all i have for you for decor so let's jump into our top category i love this category so for tops we have this shell stitch vest kind of cardigan thing oh so cute a lot of the ones in this are going to be kind of that beigey off-white eggshell color and a light blue it kind of just oh, just goes with the aesthetic so you can also make this net fishnet kind of mesh cardigan to go with your outfit or even this flower top in like a creamy color or that light blue wave color you can make this mesh dress to go over your swimsuit again in that creamy white color you could also make this top that has these open visible lines through it super cute it's not crops which is a, a feedback i've gotten on some other videos you guys want more you guys want more non-cropped options so that one's a non-cropped t-shirt kind of option for you and then here's another one that's not cropped it's a striped tank okay you can also make this one, which I really like. What is it called? I think it's called Off the Chain. It's the Off the Chain Tank. I love this one. It's got little peekaboo spots. So cute, okay? The color doesn't fit the vibe of the video, but imagine the right color, okay? And it comes to play. So this one's really cool too. It's this scalloped shirt. It can be off the shoulder, not off the shoulder, but depending on the color, it can totally fit this aesthetic. You can make this floral shawl, which I immediately added to my to be crocheted list when I found it for this video. I love the shawl so much. Now, out of all the shirts, I want to say this one's like top three for fitting the aesthetic, but it's this v-neck crocheted tee. Even the color she chose for this thumbnail just fit the vibe perfectly. So I definitely recommend that one or even this crocheted shirt. It's a v-neck. It's not cropped. It's got a little, it's got a t-shirt sleeve. Okay, that one's super cute or even this arcade stitch top as well and we have this lace dreams tee to also go in this category and this pixie bolero if you are looking for more of a cropped fit you can make this summer breeze top again cropped and you can make this flower sweater if you're going to a beach that's colder maybe up in washington oregon area cold beaches over here okay you can also make this top down mesh sweater super comfy you can make this crocheted crop top as well in the right colors fits the aesthetic you can even make this rectangle style tee. Uh, this one's not cropped, so this one's for my not no crop girl, okay? No crops. <laughs> and that is all I have for you for tops, so let's jump into our bag category. So for bags, I've got you this granny square sling. I know a lot of you guys have seen this circling around in the crochet community, but I've got you a written free pattern for this one. I think there's even a video one to go along with it if you're more of a visual learner. You can also make this cute carry it all tote perfect for the beach or just a plain old market bag. Okay, market bags, you can never go wrong, especially for this aesthetic and just pick like a eggshell off-white color and it's perfect. You can make this chunky yarn bag, shoulder bag, or tote bag style. You can even make this little shell kind of shell stitch lined phone bag if it's just your phone. You're going to go to the beach and just take your phone. That one's good. This beginner tote bag or even this basic tote bag as well you can make this merletto market bag which is a fun little take and i feel like out of all the market bags this one probably fits the aesthetic a little more than the other ones so i wanted to include it and then you can make this vv berry crochet video tutorial market bag as well another one of her tutorials i'm pretty sure um is this 
mini sling bag. So it's similar to the phone one, but instead of being phone shaped, it's just a smaller bag. So it can hold like your wallet and stuff like that, your keys. Then there's this really cute aesthetic net, minimal with a minimal tote bag with a solid bottom, okay? Now that we got through the bag category, let's jump into our last category actually, which is accessories. So for accessories, we have this one skein shawl. You know me, I'm a one skein girl. I love that you can do something with one skein. So I've got you a one skein shawl, super cute. I added it to my list as well. I probably added maybe 10 of the ones from this video. To my personal to be crocheted list so you can make that shawl or you can make this go-to shawl which is a little different a little smaller a little more detailed still super cute and then you can just make a basic bandana scarf as an accessory to go with any grand coastal granddaughter outfit and that is all i have for you for our 50 coastal granddaughter crochet ideas like i said in the beginning everything i showed you is linked in the description box in the order that i said it linked to a free written pattern or video tutorial i also have a pinterest board with everything i showed you linked so if pinterest is your jam that will also be linked down below as well if any of these patterns are yours and you don't want them promoted in this video dm me over on instagram and i'll take it down or if it's linked to the wrong spot, let me know and I will link it to the right spot, okay? Other than that, comment down below if there's any other 50 crochet ideas you want me to do, or if you're gonna make anything from this video, let me know. I'm curious which patterns you guys loved and which patterns you hated. So comment down below your experiences and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye.